I'd love to get your gut reaction to that. Um, I watched it at the Sunday Times office on my own, you know, third story of building, not expecting this. And my feeling was, um, Lance, I don't need an apology. I really, I'm not that bothered if you do or don't. If you do, I, I would accept it graciously. But, you know, I, I would far rather uh, have the chance to interview him and ask him a lot of questions because even though that interview was very interesting, a lot of stuff remained unanswered. Critically, uh, critical questions that you found needed to be answered were among them, for example. Well, I mean, he, a lot of people enabled him to do what he did. So and he, he didn't speak about those people. You should have named names. Yes, he should, very okay. much so. What else bothered you about the interview? Um, I just thought his apologies weren't heartfelt. I, I watched him and I thought, this guy knows intellectually that he has got to be remorseful. But emotionally, he couldn't do it. Did, he, he couldn't actually seem like he meant it. Did you think he looked like somebody who was remorseful? No. No, I didn't. I, I think he knew he had to be. He wanted to be. But it's he like, couldn't muster up the ability to actually do couldn't it. Couldn't do it emotionally. Couldn't do it. It's like, it's like you, you know, a person goes to a funeral and a loved one has passed away and they want to grieve, but emotionally they can't do it. And, and, and in that respect, I felt a certain sympathy for him. I just thought, you know, he knows what he has to do and emotionally he can't go there. He had a particular... I don't want to read too much into the superficial, but he had a kind of look on this yeah. about him, didn't he? I mean, uh, Oprah would ask him a question and the answer that he was going to give was going to diminish him in the eyes because he was making an, an admission of something, yeah. whether it was the bullying of Emma or whatever. And just before he gave the answer, you could see a smirk just flash across his face. And you thought, did I just, did, I, did that guy smirk there? And he did. And he didn't want to do that. It was like an involuntary reaction, tick. reflex, tick. And, and obviously the guy has got kind of personality issues, but Emma would have a better idea because she knew him and lived inside the team with him. And I'm going to come to him in a sec, but I, I just want to finish a, a few points as we open the interview with you, if I may, David, because I'd like to know when you were watching it, as you say, alone in, in the office. Did you, did you think, you, you talk about his, his incapability to muster some class of humility, if you like, but, or remorse, but did you think he was sorry? Um, I think he was sorry he got caught. Well, that's very different to the yeah. question I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, at, um, at different points in the interview, he, he said at one point, he yeah. said, if I hadn't made my comeback, remember, he retired in 2005, he came back in 2009. And he said in the interview, he said, you know, if I hadn't made my comeback, we wouldn't be sitting here. In other words, I wouldn't have got caught and I would never have admitted it. He said at another point he had his $75 million day yes. when he lost $75 million in endorsements. And you're thinking, Lance, we're not interested in how much money you lost. We're interested in the way you cheated. We're interested in the people you, you, you bulldozed and yeah. bullied. That's what we want to hear you talking about, not what you've lost.